Johnson grass is a pretty good grass if you want something that'll hide quail and provide a lot of habitat in a grassland. Um, it's in the sorghum. It's actually a wild sorghum. It's an ancestor of sorghum. So if you know about molasses and sorghum, oh man, uh, it's sweet. So there must be an awful lot of sugar in this grass because the animals really do like it. And it's kind of hard to keep it around. You're not supposed to let the animals eat it all the way to the ground or it'll, it won't uh, persist. So they say, the USDA manuals from the old days say you need to let it grow up until it makes a seed head. It doesn't matter if the seed head matures or not because what you're trying to do is give enough energy to the root to form enough starch in it so that it can come back next spring. Because this is one big tall grass and it really puts on a lot of bio biomass and it's really, really healthy. And um, all my animals eat it. They don't like it that much. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But right now, they're liking it, as you can see. They're on the way over here. But this is called Eastern Gamma, gra Eastern Gamma Grass. And here's what the seed head looks like. And this is an old one from the prairies. When we had hundreds and hundreds of buffaloes every mile, then they were migrating and moving north and south. There was a lot of manure and this stuff was just everywhere and it was really tall and the prairie wagons had a hard time getting through before we exterminated the buffaloes. Excuse me, bisons. And um, this now is considered an ancestor of modern corn. Corn came from this and you can see little zigzag seed heads in it. They're very hard kernels. It's very close to like Teosinte is in Central America. Teosinte is also an ancestor and they're very closely related to this. But um, this this is a good thing now. A lot of people are thinking to get back into this again. It's very, very tough grass. Really good for keeping the soil down and keeping it from washing away. And it might even make a good grass to make alcohol for your car to burn. But I know the petroleum companies aren't going to like that very much. Um, okay.